Hello all. Welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, how to install Git. Let me answer this question with practical demonstration. So, first of all, let me check whether in my machine Git software is already installed or not. For that, I'll click on the search and type Git. So, as you can see, this Git app is coming. That means the software is already installed in my machine. So what I will do is before showing you how to install Git in my machine, I'll go to the control panel and uh, and I'll select this uninstall a program and uh, I'll just select this uh, Git software and uninstall it first. This is the first thing that I'll do. Okay, before installing, I'm uninstalling it from my machine. So once it is uninstalled, I'll show you how to freshly install Git software in your machine. Okay, now Git was successfully removed from your computer. Now click here and click on search and type Git this time. And you see, Git is not coming. That means Git got uninstalled successfully. Now let me practically show you how to install Git in our machines. For that, we simply need to Google search, guys. Okay. So first, we need to download Git. For that, just open any browser and simply search with these terms Git space download and press enter. And you'll get this link Git downloads page. You will get. And on this Git downloads page, you can see download for Windows. Click on this button and download for Windows. Uh, so click here to download the latest 64 bit version of Git for Windows. This is the most recent. Okay, something, something is coming. So I'll just click on this link, guys. If the download has not started, I'll just click on click here to download the latest. Download started here, guys. As you can see, Git software is getting downloaded. EXE file of the Git software is getting downloaded in my machine. So let me pass and resume this video. Once the download is completed, I'll show you how to install this downloaded exe file. So the download has been successful. So let's click on this folder and we'll be taken to the location where the Git software has been downloaded. So as you can see, this is a Git software, Git exe file. Just double click on this Git software and you will be given an installation wizard. Let's wait for the installation wizard to appear on the page. So before the installation wizard came, there is a user access control dialog key. I just select this. I've selected this. Now in a while, we should get the installation wizard. This is the installation wizard. Just click on next. Here's the location where Git software will get installed. Next. Click on next. Just go with the default options. Next. Next, 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 next. Don't change anything. Just keep clicking. Next time, select last finally. Just click on the install button. So with this way, the Git software will get installed in our machine. So let's wait for the Git software to complete the installation. It's getting installed. So almost done. Let's wait. In a while, we'll get the, okay finish button. So just deselect this one, click on finish. So with this, we are able to install Git software in our machine. Just to confirm that, uh, we can click on the search button and here and uh, just type Git. And if you are getting this Git UI app with Git bash and all those stuff, that means Git software has been successfully installed in the machine. So how to install the Git software? This is a process for installing the Git software, guys. From Google, we have to search for Git download. And then we'll be taken to the uh, download page of uh, Git. And from there, we have to download the Git software. And then we have to install it with the default options. And uh, just to confirm whether the Git has been successfully installed or not, here we need to search for Git. And uh, if you get that uh, Git app and uh, Git, uh, you know, Git bash uh, thing, then we can confirm that Git has been successfully installed in our machine. So hope guys, you got the answer for this question. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.